Stop smoking and breathe well to live better. Hi everyone, I am Adnan Samarmad. Here I would like to present my online course Healthy Life to the Atlantic International University. This lesson number eight is about the lungs and the respiratory system. The human respiratory system consists of a number of organs that are responsible for oxygen uptake and carbon dioxide emissions. The primary organs of the respiratory system are the lungs which carry out this gaseous exchange during breathing. Respiratory system involved four main organs, the nasal cavity, trachea, lungs, the heart, and the diaphragm muscle. They work together to supply the body cells with oxygen and at the same time to rid them of toxins such as carbon dioxide. The connection between the heart and the lung. The heart and the lungs are working together to ensure that the body cells has the saturated blood that it needs to function properly. The right atrium gets the partially deoxygenated blood from the inferior and superior vena cava and transports it to the right ventricular than to the lungs to gaseous exchange. The diaphragm is muscle located under the lungs and responsible for 80% of the breathing action. It is a large dumb-shaped muscle that involuntarily contracts rhythmically and continuously most of the time. When you breathe in, the diaphragm contracts. Meanwhile, the intercostal muscles, rib muscles, contracting. In this way, the chest cavity widens up and out. They work together to achieve the body's main goal to deliver the cells with saturated oxygen and get rate of carbon dioxide. The main function of the lungs is gaseous exchange by inhaling oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. When the air is inhaled into the nasal cavity during this phase, the cells release mucus, which contains an enzyme called lysozyme. This kills bacteria. With the help of hair in the nose, they can trap dust, bacteria, and some harmful gas molecules. There are also four sinuses in the bones that are filled with air called frontal, ethmoid, sphenoid, and maxillary. Its function is to make the air warm and humid and to amplify the sound of the voice. Therefore, you will get a different voice if you have an inflammation in that area. The safety and warm air leading to the pharynx that the three components parts. The first one is nasopharynx. The second one is oropharynx. This is connecting to the oral cavity, the soft palate and the uvula storage as a valve that prevent the food goes to the nose when you are eating. And the third, larynopharynx, that continues with the larynx voice box. There is a cartilage in the form of spoon called epiglottis that called also 
Adam apple that conveys food into the esophagus and just in one way. However, if any other than air gets into the larynx, there is a cough reflex that exiples sticks and brings it back to the mouth. The air enters through trachea that has a C cartilage rings along to prevent it from collapsing. The air flows through the trachea, which divided into two main streams that called the bronchus. The left is semi-horizontal and the right is semi-vertical. Both enter the lungs. The right lung is wider and more vertical that has three lobes, upper, middle, and lower, while the left lung has only two lobes, upper and lower. The bronchus, as after 20 to 25 division, will lose the rings of cartilage, and the airway comes through a wall with smooth muscles called terminal bronchioli, which are divided into smaller passages. This is the last airway of the system to reach the alveoli, singular alveolus, where the gas exchange takes a place. The alveoli reach up to 500 millions in both lungs and can cover a surface of 140 square meter. Important note, the alveolar duct presents the final stage of gaseous exchange. Here I am going to speak about the breathing. The breathing rhythm in a normal situation is 20 times a minute. Inhalation takes place through working muscles, the outer intercostal, the rib muscles, contract to pull the chest up and out. Meanwhile, the diaphragm contracts so that the abdomen comes out through inhalation. This increases the volume of the chest, which reduces the intrapulmonary pressure compared to the atmosphere. Hence, the air comes in to equalize the pressure. The pressure of the atmosphere is 760 millimeter mercury. Here, the pressure difference between the outer and the inner lungs is only 2 millimeter mercury. Exhaling is a passive process takes place when the intercostal muscles are relaxed and the chest falls off while the diaphragm relaxes and goes up. This reduces the volume of the chest cavity, increases the pressure in the lungs and the lungs have less space. The result is the air expelled to balance the atmosphere pressure. Each lung has its own outer and inner membrane. The outer one is attached to the chest wall and the upper side of the diaphragm, which are called the partial pleural, while the inner membrane is attached to the surface of the lung, which is called the visceral pleural. There is a pressure 4 mm mercury between the outer and the inner membrane. This area is very sensitive of pain. Therefore, the patients with membrane inflammation suffer from severe breathing pain. There is also a liquid between them and there is no space or air. The lungs collapse when the air 
gates between the outer and inner membranes because they lose their mechanism of moving together and cause death. This usually happens through accidents. Finally, I am going to conclude. The human respiratory system acts as a negative ventilation system. The chest cavity through intercostal and diaphragm muscles with the lungs work like a vacuum. The main function of the lungs is the gaseous exchange to supply the body's cells with oxygen by inhalation and get rid of carbon dioxide by exhalation. The nasal cavity plays an important role by filtering and humidifying the air before entering the lung through the trachea, which is carried by many sea cartilage rings to maintain the patency. The trachea is carried by many sea cartilage rings to prevent it from collapse. It is divided into two parts called primary bronchus, which enter the lungs. The left tube has a semi-horizontal direction and is divided into two parts called the lobar bronchi to enter the upper and lower lung lobes. While the right tube is divided into three parts to enter the upper, middle, and lower long lobes. The bronch lose its C cartilage rings after 25 divisions of segmental bronchi and reach the terminal bronchiole, which has smooth muscles that cover his wall. The bronchioli continues to spread to the last cell called the alveoli, where the gaseous is exchanged and the blood cells release carbon dioxide and refill with oxygen. The exaggerated blood is transported through four pulmonary veins into the left atrium of the heart and is distributed to the entire body cells through the left ventricle via aorta. After all, bronchitis is an inflammation of the bronchial passage that is mainly found by people who have smoked. Learn continually and practice your knowledge in the best way to enjoy a healthy life. Therefore, I recommend to visit my next ninth lesson in this healthy living course, which is about the brain and nerve system. Thank you for watching and wish you a successful learning. Yours Adnan Mizhar as samarmad PhD, Health Sciences Atlantic International University. Don't forget, if you like this video or this course, to press like or subscribe to get my latest publications. Thanks in advance.